By now, we know many elements of an agile organization, like tribes and squads, centers of excellence or COEs, are essential to making the entire company operate on the same rhythm and deliver an exceptional experience to our clients. COEs help put the enterprise in Enterprise Agile. So what is a COE? It's a group of specialists who have specific knowledge or skills. They provide insights and share best practices across the organization. But there are actually two types of centers of excellence, enterprise COEs and tribe-aligned COEs. Let's break these down. We'll start with enterprise COEs. These centers of excellence set standards and guidelines for use across the enterprise. A couple of examples are the Marketing and Communication COE and the IT Project Management COE. For example, the IT Project Management COE is responsible for providing best practices, guidance and support for project managers, program managers and scrum masters. And the Marketing and Communication COE sets the branding guidelines for the entire organization. If you've ever used a DTCC branded PowerPoint template, you've been supported by the Marketing and Communication COE. Next, let's switch gears to tribe-aligned COEs. Before we drill deeper, let's remind ourselves that an Agile squad is a group of cross-functional, persistent and dedicated resources who have end-to-end -end responsibility for a specific mission. Because of our role in the industry at DTCC, we have many specialized functions. Squads often need support from these specialized functions. However, it's not always feasible or economical to fully dedicate these resources. And in most cases, squads don't actually need them on a persistent basis. That's where tribe-aligned COEs come into play. These groups align one or more of their limited resources to a tribe and they're deployed to support different squads within that tribe, as they're needed. These COE members are called COE liaisons. They also act as a single point of contact for the tribe and represent their COE's interests in squad and tribe ceremonies, like the quarterly tribe review and sprint planning. Most importantly, the COE liaison makes sure that the COE and the tribe are aligned on what they'll deliver together role modeling the power of our ways of working by enabling higher levels of client focus and collaboration. Having tribe-aligned COEs is good for the tribe because they know exactly who to reach out to for specialized expertise. They also get better support because the COE liaison understands the tribe's business context and unique needs. And it's good for the COE, because being involved in key ceremonies and early planning means they can better anticipate demand and manage their resources more effectively. A great example is Enterprise Test Engineering's Performance Testing COE. When the SFTR tribe completed the development of the core product capabilities, they wanted to validate that it could handle the expected volumes during interim releases. The COE was already expecting the demand since it has been included during the SFTR quarterly tribe review. The COE liaisons developed the test scripts while the software was being developed and in just a few days the performance test was completed with key findings and recommendations. But with multiple COE liaisons supporting several different tribes, who makes sure that all members of the COE are working together to deliver on its mission? That's the job of the COE lead. They prioritize the COE's workload and ensure the COE is in lockstep with the tribe to fulfill the mission. As you can see, centers of excellence are a very important part of an agile organization. Not only do they provide specialized skills and expertise to the areas of the business that need it, but the way they do it, with efficiency and collaboration, multiplies the value they deliver many times over. And that's the power of Agile.